There's an odd enjoyment I get out of looking good and going for a long drive. It doesn't really matter where I'm going, it just as long as I'm not stuck in traffic. And I have to imagine that's what Ryan Gosling felt like when filming the movie Drive. Welcome back folks, and if you are new here, my name's Dan and I make videos on men's fashion and costume design in movies when I have a working laptop, but uh, more on that later. Due to popular demand, I'm going to be talking about the iconic 2011 neo-noir film Drive, directed by Nicholas Reffin, starring Ryan Gosling. Drive is about a Hollywood stunt driver, mechanic, and part-time getaway drivers for some bad boyos, and after trying to help a neighbor, one of the heists he assists in goes sour, and now the driver is left to clean up the mess. Before we get into the costume design, stylistically, the full, like the movie itself, uh, what I like about the film is that it has this blend of 70s and 80s hints throughout, while maintaining a modern look. All, all the hints and all the inspiration is shown through uh, songs, colors in the film, the title sequence, and obviously the clothing. Now, the costume designer of this movie was Aaron Benich, who has worked with Ryan Gosling on movies such as Place Beyond the Pines and Blue Valentine. I did a video on Place Beyond the Pines that you can click right there in the corner to see if you want. Um, and listen, I know what you guys are here for, but before we talk about it, I want to talk about other the the uh, other pieces surrounding it. The driver doesn't have a lot of wardrobe changes in this movie. It seems that he's quite the minimalist, which for some reason, personally, I think makes sense for his cold exterior, and I think makes him look very sleek. He's seen wearing slim, dark rinse jeans throughout the movie, which are a pair of Acne Studio Maxoft raw denim slim jeans. And the other half of his dark Canadian tuxedo is a Levi's trucker jacket, in a dark indigo wash. You can actually see the Levi's jacket as a layering or middle piece in his outfits, which I think is a nice look, something that I'm a big fan of doing myself. Or he also just uses it as his outer layer. Under the denim trucker is a couple of vintage Henleys that are slim fitting, but have some slightly dropped shoulders, uh, both in a white colorway that's been dirtied up and a vivid slate blue uh, that they actually hand dyed, which is pretty cool. Besides these pieces, he's really only ever seen wearing an ivory raglan sweatshirt in like one scene. Looks nice, but like it's nothing crazy. Um, also, he's seen looking like a greaser with his mechanics outfit, which if you do live in Brooklyn, you've probably seen this type of outfit like 10 times uh, in the past like week. But yeah, nonetheless, good look. For his shoes, he's wearing a pair of Stacy Adams Madison cap toe boots in this light tan colorway, which I think gives the outfit like kind of a nice formal touch without like throwing it off. And as a whole, something about this outfit feels very 70s Americana to me, kind of reminds me of Cliff Booth from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Just like the, the double denim, the, the beige boot, for details he's wearing, um, a pair of Selma Optics uh, Money Sport 2 aviators in this brown tortoise frame, which is also kind of giving the 70s vibe. Also, he's wearing a pair of Gasper gloves, model 2204, which are now called the Drive Gloves on their website. Uh, the gloves were actually based on a pair of Steve McQueen uh, gloves that he used to wear. And lastly, for details, the driver is seen wearing a Patek Philippe, which is actually a replica Reason being is that he was moving around and fighting a lot throughout the movie, so he didn't want to break, a, or they didn't want to break a real one, so they decided to go with a fake one. Kind of smart. Also, just have to throw this out there. If you want to dress like a meatball, then just uh, look at some of Ron Perlman's outfits in this movie. Classic uh, track suits and um, some polos, you know, to get that uh, real uh, Italian Guido vibe. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the iconic Drive jacket. Probably the most recognizable jacket in a movie in recent decades, at least in my opinion. Uh, so according to Erin, Ryan was very hands-on with the wardrobe for uh, the driver. Before shooting the movie, Ryan had bought a 1950s Korean souvenir jacket that he was wearing a lot and he wanted to implement something like that for the driver. And they saw that the jacket was too billowy, too flowy, and they knew that they needed to streamline the silhouette and make it suit the driver better. They actually went through about 15 to 20 versions of the jacket until they finally landed on the one that you see on the big screen, but not only until about an hour before filming, which is 
so insane to me. Um, and there were 13 copies of the jacket for the progression of the movie because he gets bloodier and dirtier as the movie goes on. The driver's jacket is a white satin diamond quilted jacket with a center front zipper and a throat latch tab at the collar, as well as brown wool ribbing around the cuffs, the collar, the bottom hem of his jacket, and the gusset. And I should note that uh, the jacket was also inspired by the band Kiss. Refn wanted the jacket to serve as his quote-unquote armor, kind of like the band members in Kiss uh, in some of their album artwork and their concerts. Now the jacket hits right below his natural waist, which is some, it, it's, it looks somewhat cropped. And on the back of the jacket, um, you can see the large embroidered two-tone gold scorpion, which is given a nod to towards the end of the movie when Ryan talks about the story of the scorpion and the frog. Uh, which came first, the dialogue or the embroidery? I mean, honestly, I don't know. So, regarding the details for the jacket itself, the gusset on the jacket is really cool. Basically what a gusset is, is a panel of fabric that is supposed to help with movement, and for the driver's jacket, it is around the whole armhole. Uh, and it comes to a V at his side, which I think is a really cool detail. You don't really see that usually if it's at the armhole. Um, usually it's just at that back armhole, kind of, so you'll just have a gusset in the back. And another cool detail on this jacket is the rounded folded collar that when, um, when folded, it mimics a regular bomber jacket collar. This is a detail that you see in a lot of 80s bomber jackets, actually. Personally, I think that it gives the jacket more dimension. Now, the movie definitely has its influences of the 70s and 80s throughout, and I think it's pretty obvious that the jacket gives off a strong 80s feel. It almost reminds me of those 80s ski jackets, kind of cropped and, you know, like, somewhat puffy, plus the colors that surround him and contrast the jacket, very vibrant, very neon, and it really gives off this nostalgic 80s feeling. Again, like I said, it's one of the most uh, iconic pieces when it comes to costume design, at least for menswear, in my opinion. Drive is a very strong movie, visually, when it comes to its dialogue, and even the costume design. And I think Drive shows how a single jacket can be so iconic that groups of people will watch a guy talk about it for like 15 minutes. Well, that is going to conclude this video. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. It genuinely means a lot. I, uh, I broke my, my laptop back in February and I fell off with videos because I didn't have a laptop and I was lazy on getting my laptop or getting a new one. But I'm really glad to be back. Let's hope this is the last uh, long hiatus I'll ever go through, but who knows? Um, anyway, let me know what you think of this video. Follow me on social media. It's all linked in the description down below. I'm on TikTok now. I'm making, uh, I'm a little bit more uh, active on there. You know, it's a little bit easier to make the content there. If you want to read any articles that I used for this video, it's all linked in the description down below. Thank you guys. I will see you soon. Goodbye.